Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys about a rock. No, not that rock. No, not the genre of rock. No. Okay, that's just another picture of Dwayne Johnson. Editor, do you just have like a bunch of photos of Dwayne the Rock Johnson on your computer? Hey, what's up, World Art Lab? Welcome back to the channel where we explore my mind in the world, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a rock, I already said that. So I came across this CBC article last week where this photo was shown. It's a rock formation on the shores of Baffin Island located southwest around uh, 90 kilometers southwest of the community of Arctic Bay. This place is more north than the most north capital city of Canada. And when the internet saw it, they were skeptical, understandably. I mean, you've never heard of such a weird rock formation in the Arctic. Even people in the Nunavut Tourism Office were confused about whether or not this photo was legit and whether or not this thing actually exists. Well, it turns out it does actually exist and the locals have dubbed it Karlingua, which translates to Inuktitut for like pants. And I have to say, those gotta be some rockin' pants. So in the article it states that a couple of geologists have seen the photos and they try to figure out what it was and they were even kind of skeptical at first too because they've never heard of anything like this in the Arctic before. After examining the photos, they some of the geologists sort of say that it might be a mix of sedimentary rock and quartz. Anyway, because this thing is so north in the Arctic, that it's really only accessible by boat from Arctic Bay, Nunavut, about two weeks out of the year. And if you don't live in Arctic Bay and own your own boat, which is like most of the people in the world, then you can go on a trip with the tourism company Arctic Bay Adventures, which says they offer the trip to get down to Karlinga. But the thing is this company does tours of like five days at a time, and their base cost is like $6,000 per package. And that's not even the cost to get there because to get there you gotta fly from Iqaluit, the capital of Nunavut, and to get to Iqaluit you have to fly from another Canadian city. And if you don't live in Canada, you gotta fly to that Canadian city like Ottawa, then fly to Iqaluit, then fly to Arctic Bay, then hopefully it's the right week in which you can actually take a boat five hours to get to this rock pants. Overall, you would've spent $10,000 just to get an Instagram selfie with this thing. Now, why am I doing a video on this? Am I doing this as a reporter? No, because I am not a reporter at all. And the person who reported on this, uh, Priscilla Huang, you did a good job. No, I'm doing a video about this because I want to talk about exploration. The reason I'm doing this video is because this rock formation has supposedly been around for thousands and thousands of years. But most humans outside of Arctic Bay, Nunavut, have never seen it until, well, now. With 21st century technology and satellites and all these other technological things and cameras and stuff, we feel like humans, we've explored everything. If you take a look at our oceans, we've really only mapped about 5% of our oceans, which makes up about 70% of our area on this planet. That means that we have about two-thirds of the planet that we have not yet really discovered. So what am I saying? Am I saying that you should spend 10 grand, like a fourth of your annual salary to go discover some place that you never discovered? Or to get a deep sea diver? No, I'm not really saying that at all unless that's what you want to do. What I am saying is that there's a lot of people who don't even really know what's outside their lawn. There's a lot of people who haven't really explored all parts and facets of their their land, of their area, the place that they're in. So I'm making this video to say, hey, maybe we should just explore a little bit more, you know? So on that note, I just have one more question for you guys. Who wants to loan me $10,000? Thanks so much, World Wide Web, for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to be notified of my next video. Go ahead and comment what you think of this phenomenon. All my social media links are down in the description below. Over there, you can click and watch my latest video. But that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, go explore something.